Little monsters. The chickens, all they can think of is food, 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 food. I just fed them. I think it's 9 o'clock in the morning. And they heard me walking in the house. And they come running to the front of the cage, begging for more food. Now they're going back under the shelter because it's raining hard. It's been raining for, uh, well, all day yesterday, all night last night. And the chickens are bunching up underneath that shelter over there. But, uh, watch, if I rattle the door, they'll probably come running up. Oops, I missed it. Anyway, they start running up to the front when they hear me moving around here, begging for more food. I can't believe they eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and ask for more. That's all they live for is eating. But anyway... It's uh, it's pretty disgusting out there. I've got two days left of rifle season, and I'll be honest, I'm not going to go out right now. Got a sore throat. Um, sitting out in the trees and out in the woods day and night for um, a week in the cold and wet. It's not too healthy, but um, won't be going out today. That's too too disgusting out there right now. Can't risk losing my health, and I want to get some projects done indoors today. But it sure has been raining a lot. I think my water tank over by the RV is going to fill up today. If it's not already, I haven't looked at it yet. Well, it's uh, 10 o'clock. Raining really bad out there. There's my Roby. One of my Roby lights. Battery went out last night on me. I'll have to wait for a sunny day to charge it. I am um, probably going to have to fire up the generator tonight because it's the uh, third day of no sunlight and my batteries are dwindling with uh, 14 watts coming in and uh, no power, a lot more than that going out, I should say. Um, sitting here in relative darkness during the days now so yeah anyway I've just got waiting for the pr last video to finish saving I'm a little bit behind on, on processing videos well I'm late each day usually I try to get them live by 9 a.m. but I've been getting them up a little bit later recently but I'm only I am each video I'm showing is coming out the very following day after it was done so that's good news that's at least a good thing I don't know if I mentioned this but while in Michigan I put RAM in my computer and it is operating smoothly way 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 better I still have some issues with Windows 8 multitasking but in some of the other deals like with Windows 8 showing thumbnails it um, there's one for example it doesn't always show the, uh, the thumbnails. It's really ridiculous. It cannot handle processing the thumbnails properly. And often you get one or more that doesn't show up. So, sort of annoying. But that's how it is. At least the computer's working now. So, anyway, I'm, that's what I'm up to right now. A little bit later, I'm going to probably bring my wood inside and start working on the under stairway storage um, and then I can get the food out of the uh, RV because that way it'll not have anything to attract mice inside you see I've got all my jugs of water lined up here I don't have any water outside right now when it um, the big water tank is filling up by the way because it's raining but the hose is frozen solid the um, where I uh, my filler hose where I get my water out is frozen so on the rare days that it's not frozen I fill up a bunch of jugs and keep them in here so I have water to use for later uh, forgive the mess I'm still trying to clean up from the hunting week it was quite a lot of stuff we had in here and uh, that mixed with my stuff from the trip to Michigan and back and the Black Friday deals uh, the tiny house is quite a mess but I'm picking at it and cleaning at it so today hopefully we got some projects going on and have some interesting videos for you again. 
I'm back to work at the off-grid project and the tiny house on wheels. I've cleaned out under the stairwell so I can prepare for building the pantry that'll be down there. I've got too much stuff in here and uh, I gotta get shelving and place to put stuff away. Baby Cat was just inspecting the clean area. What do you think Baby Cat? So that's the project for today and right now I'm waiting for a break in the rain so I can go out and get my wood out from under a tarp. I do have some wood that I have protected by a tarp but obviously right now I have to wait for a break in the rain before I can go and dig it out otherwise it'll get messed up. So hopefully this will break soon. There's the birds running to the front because they heard me moving again at the door. Sometimes it gets annoying having them uh, hanging out just begging for food constantly. But anyway, I'm gonna. Um, I guess I'll get back to video work for a while until this uh, this rain stops, and then I'll be building. Have that closed off, and uh, try to get some shelves in there. Just fired up the old Bedini motor and put a box full of papers. It's just a box that had some. Uh, Packaging materials I stuffed in it, some old newspapers and junk, so that that muffles the sound. You can hear the difference. I'm going to look for something that covers that a little bit better, and that'll muffle that sound nicely. Yes, it is an old wheel, and the bearings are, are noisy, but it works. So, my batteries, I just measured them. These are the old sulfated 6-volt golf cart batteries. Um, well, we should have caught that in camera. Baby cat jumped into a box and sort of crashed. Anyway, um, these are <laughs> I just put all this stuff over here, um, cleaning out the uh, the under the stairwell. Anyway, uh, these were at 6.16 volts after settling. They were. 6.4, no, what were they before? Oh, uh, I can't remember. Anyway, 6.16, which would make 12.32, which is pretty low. And I'm going to let them run in the Bedini for a while until they stop increasing in voltage. And then, um, they, uh, then I'll have to put a little bit of a load on them and then run a few cycles on it like that repeatedly until they uh, are restored. And they have settled a bit. I can't remember what the voltage was, but they settled a bit. This has been off for about two weeks now. And so they had two weeks to just settle down. But anyway, the process has begun again and I will finish restoring the batteries. <laughs> 